Fucking some fucking fun, eh? Alright, wait a minute. Hey guys, Ken Scott Beck, senior US immigration law intelligence analyst with triple W US Entry Waiver Services.com. And we resolve all USA border crossing issues. Was this large issue, small, whatever, what yada yada yada. Oh, that was fun. Today is a celebration because of the fact that we just, how can I say it? We just got five cases, but the five cases are really, really big ones. Oh, what's that? we got five really big fish cases and <laughs> these cases are gonna put us over the map. So I was so excited that I started, you so said, you know what? I have to do a video and just like express how much happiness that I wish to exude to the general public. So you guys already know who I am. Ken Scott, senior, US Immigration Law Intelligence Analyst. And you know, with these videos, I like to make them, I don't wanna make them boring, right? I like to make them like, they keep your attention, you know, who wants to hear some dry commentary by some Sean Spicer looking guy when the fact that uh, if you get a bit entertained and you get informed, hey, you cannot do any wrong. So again, it's Ken Scott and AKA Big Papa, but that, that's a different story for another video. I won't go into that. So today's topic is <laughs> U.S. Entry Wave. Oh, U.S. Entry Waiver for PPT and the people that have PPT, they already know what, they know what that means. So I won't go into detail. US entry waiver for PPT. <laughs> oh man, I fuck, you can tell, you guys can tell I feel really happy, really good today. Anyway, so if you have a conviction or convictions for PPT, if you live in Surrey, BC, which they go one and the same, I guess, you are inadmissible to USA. But, but, if you, 
make contact with us and come to the Surrey location, our Surrey location, Surrey, BC, we can likely get you sorted out to cross the border to, into USA. Now, guys, PPT convictions, um, those cases have to be done a certain kind of way. Certain kind of way. You just can't slap two pieces of paper together, three letters of reference, and go to the border and then say, hey, I want to visit Disneyland. Like, for example, let's just say I go down, I get in the car, go down from Surrey, I always say Surrey, go down to the border to uh, Peace and say, hey, where are you going? Citizenship, okay, where are you going? I'm going to Seattle. What for? And I'm, oh, by the way, I'm just like this. Let's, let's say I'm just like this. So you can stand up. I'm just like this. So I go down to the border wearing this, and they look at the computer, they see PPT. They say, no, nah, no, nah, homeboy, no, nah, you go inside. I said, what do you mean? What did I do? No, 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 you go inside. I said, all right, what did I do? Fine, whatever. So I go inside. They see the charges and convictions with PPT. And let's just say, okay, you know what? I'm going to say a charge, no conviction. And it's for PPT. I said, what do you mean? It's a, what about, I said, sir, I'm innocent. I said, would I even look like I would do something like that? Come on. He says, he said, look, man, no offense, but you look like you would have PPT. I said, what does that mean? It's kind of a brown guy with a shaved head that had PPT. I mean, that's some kind of profiling, man. And he said, man, what happened? Well, sir, you know what? I, I think I was charged. I was never convicted, but I can't recall details. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. He says, uh-huh, 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 okay, all right. Well, you better be honest. I said, sir, I can only tell you what I know, and I can't recall any details. I mean, sir, it was such a traumatic experience. Oh, it was dreadfully awful. He says, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, okay, okay. So you guys got to also remember, with me, it's different because I initially learned the Queen's English. So for me, when I pronounce certain words, they come out different ways, so... That's a different story. In fact, sometimes I have to ask the administrator or staff members, I say, how do, how do you say this word in English? How do you say this? Because for me, I hear it one way, but as I know the proper way of the pronunciation, but that, you know, that's a different story. And because mommy is Cuban and dad's from Dominican and granddaddy is from Shandiga, so add that into the equation as well. Anyway, so, anyway, so uh, conviction for PPT. I'm not gonna go into details about that as much. You guys who have that in Surrey and Vancouver know us. And you know what we do? We know we clear 99.9% .9 of the guys that have such offenses. Because either, and this is with every client, by the way, but especially PPT, either you're innocent because you're never convicted. Now listen to me again. You are innocent because you're not convicted. Now, maybe you were framed, maybe it's a mistaken identity. I don't know. I wasn't there. So all I can go by is what I hear. So you are innocent if you're not convicted. Now, if you're convicted, you know, that's fine. But if you are convicted, sir, you are now rehabilitated. Yes, this happened in the past, yes. But now you're married and you have two kids and you go about your business, you know, you drive your truck or whatever or you uh, you are landscaping, I understand that. And now you're a hardworking Canadian citizen, productive, and you are entitled, sir, to be cleared to enter the USA, take your kids to Disneyland. So yeah, you're right. So we're gonna put your packet together to show why you are rehabilitated and why you're cleared. And obviously, sir, you get the limo ride, you know, VIP, free of charge. Oh, okay, okay. So, you know, bottom line is, yes, you did this, we have to document rehabilitation. Now guys, with the PPT offenses, um, in all seriousness, they have to be documented a certain kind of way. You just can't slap it together like Batman's pardons and waivers do. It's not gonna fly. Oh, wait a minute, hold up guys, I'm gonna do something. All right. I had to pour some, uh, some water, yeah, some water, yeah. Water is a little pale, but oh well. So guys, 
Yeah, so the PPT cases have to be prepared a certain kind of way. Um, certain kind of re rehabilitation has to be documented in them. And even with the remorse, it has to be documented, present a certain kind of way. And some other, other inserts that have to go into these packets to show that you are rehabilitated. So it's not just one little form or two forms you fill out, like Batman's pardons the waivers do. Because if not, I can almost guarantee you guys with 80% certainty, you will get denied. You will get denied. So just a matter of whether you want to get denied or approved. But the guys that normally had those offenses, they understand the game. They understand what's needed. They never question. They pay and go. Say, okay, get it done. Walk out. And I mean, it's what it is, right? We do what we do. So those guys get cleared and then they can enter the USA and it's no problem. Um, I do, you know, in all honesty, in the videos, I wish I can go into more detail because the thing is, guys, because of my background, I've got Cuban and Dominican blood in me. And like I said, some Indian blood, 25% Indian blood from, uh, you know, Punjab. So for me, on one side of me, how can I say it? The side of me, it, it comes out in the sense of, I like to have fun, enjoy life, help everyone. Thinking everyone's a friend, everyone's family, everyone wants to enjoy life and just be happy. I have to kind of watch that sometimes because I know there's other people who are not of my uh, ethnic diversity or background, so to speak, who all they care about is what they can get over on you, how they can screw you. And you know, it is what it is. So this kind of also why, and like in the other video that we that I put up here, when I said the administrator and other people we have under us, they actually do certain areas and I don't interfere because I know me, my natural inclination is, oh, uh, like Bart Marley, let's have fun, enjoy life, you know, drink, be merry and be happy. Some people see that and try to take advantage and I'm not stupid. I mean, I can see it, but that part of me, I have to keep locked away kind of getting a bit personal with you guys here so you guys know a bit about me and that's why i surround myself with people who are not like that who they can smell bullshit a mile away or if you're in canada a couple of kilometers away and then say no 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 and that ties in with another case from the other day with this one client and she wanted to pay a certain kind of way and i had to just defer to the administrator say you know what can you handle this because i know me and it's best if you handle this, you deal with this. And then, it, it, you know, it's fine. Because if anyone's ever been to Cuba and places like that, you know, that part in the Caribbean, in that part of the world by Argentina, um, people generally are very open, like the, like Havana, people are really open, they're friendly, they dance. They'll, they'll bring you to their home, pour you some food, you know, drink some food, feed you. But guys, you got to be careful, most of me, I have to be careful of that because I don't want to get like roped into something that I don't, that I can prevent. So certain things, guys, like regarding the work, if you guys ask for me, I cannot do it. I have to let my other staff members handle it because if that's, that's the case, I'll be out of business. I mean, the bartering part is fine. You know, I can barter and discount or whatever. That's fine. And I speak a couple of different languages anyway, you guys already know. So, um, but, well, it is what it is. But for PPT, those cases I do personally, I know what has to be done. I know how they have to be prepared. I know that CBP, they have certain criteria for those cases that they look at, that they want to ensure that the person is clear and the discount waiver companies, like a spade and neuter dog, as per the Hollywood, ma as per the uh, Surrey office manager, um, using his words, they don't get it, which is great for me or great for us that they don't understand it. But if those cases get denied, it's a lot of work to get them turned around. And guys, when you, when you cheap out and go to these discount waiver companies like Batman's expert pardons and waivers and you get denied, I mean, I don't know what else to really tell you because you, you're going to get screwed royally because it's going to cost, it's going to be a lot more work to get you turned around and get cleared, which we can do it, but it's more work. So anyway, um, kind of like a silly video, having fun, whatever, but I wanted to make this one on PPT. So generally speaking, you go down to the border, the guy is dressed like this, dressed like me. And he's, um, let's say he's, uh, 
uh, a church worker, so to speak, the board is always going to say, you're a church worker and you're wearing that and you're wearing this and you're wearing diamonds. And he say, yeah, I work at the church. He says, no, nah, no, nah, nah, homeboy, you, you go inside there. I said, well, my, what? I'm a church worker and I also, I change tires. I do uh, auto mechanic work at times. He said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, auto mechanic work. Yeah, no, sorry, sorry, you go there, sit. I said, fuck, what, what did I do? I'm innocent. But it is what it is like that, so. But when I go out, you know, hang out, have fun with friends, I often like, this right here, this is me. I mean, I can wear an Armani suit if you guys want, or Versace and all that good stuff. And I can wear my Italian made shoes and carry my stack of like four or five K. I mean, yeah, I can do that. But this is just me, have fun with some friends, go out, have some drinks, socialize, enjoy life. You know, because when the day's over, you know, life's too short. You gotta have fun, right? Relax, be happy. Um, you guys really should not do things you don't want. And this has nothing to do with waivers, but this is more so for like some of the younger guys in their 20s who these birds, these women, try to lock you down unnecessarily just so they can get your money, whatever. You guys gotta take care of yourself. You guys gotta know how the street game works. Um, I know how the street game works through and through. I lived, just, I lived in some really rough places around the world. I, I lived in uh, Canada, of course, Canada, uh, Surrey, good old Surrey, specifically Wally. And I don't know if you guys, well, people who know Wally know Wally. East London, if you know East London, um, certain places in the USA, like back east. And I've been, I've been to South Side Chicago, I've been there. I have not been to Compton yet in LA. So I've been to some rough places. I've seen some things, but you know what guys, because of my background, because of the fact that I have a law enforcement background, I worked for the system. I was a trainer and instructor. And I have also had a chance to see how the other side lives and works. So because in my case, I'm doing a bit of bragging here now, but because of my case, um, seeing how one side lives, how the other side lives, how the system works, seeing it from the inside out and other things, it puts me in a position to know how, how can I say, how to facilitate things, how to make the game work, how to make the game work for you, how to get you guys cleared to enter USA, not me, to get you guys cleared to enter. And I mostly care about, you know, getting you guys cleared to enter the country. So it's, it's my job to, to get you guys as much satisfaction as I can. So, you know, I got the silly side to me. I like to dance around, have fun, enjoy life. I don't want to be some Sean Spicer looking guy or the mellow fellow, the sweet troll over in Ontario. I want, that's all I'll say. But he's such a sweet y'all. <laughs> sweet, a, a 10 pound bag of uh, sugar. <laughs> but guys, I can make things happen globally. And I'm thinking of, uh, some other countries I'm looking into about opening locations. Because guys, the thing is, we don't just do waivers. We do other stuff besides waivers. If you look at our website, you'll see, like at the London, England office, we do visas. So, and waivers kind of tie into the visas. That's different. But I'm not going to bore you guys with everything that we do. It's all on my website, which is www.usentrywaiverservices.com. And it's one 908 and you guys always, you guys already know, you guys already know me. I mean, come on. You guys know I'm there for you. I'm on your side. I'm there to ensure that you guys have your, oh, shit. I just saw a problem here. This, this and this. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you my pussy I have on my phone. You guys want to see my pussy? Here's my pussy. Oh shit, didn't do it. Uh, my phone is also password protected, so. Um, okay, can I get my phone now? Uh, 
That's fine. Oh, actually, here, here we go. It's my pussy. Yep, it's my pussy right there. So that's just a photograph, but <clears throat> he's a good little fellow. Good little. He's also another mellow fellow. Um, he's highly intelligent. He knows how to open doors. He uses the toilet like an adult. And he tells me when to wake up, when to sleep, when to pee, when to eat. He does everything. So I'm going to, I think what I might do in the near future is bring him on board more and you guys can actually see him. So he goes everywhere with me. I put a leash on him and a collar and walk him and he comes with me. You know what? I wonder if I should just go get him now. He's, he's here right now. You guys know I'm not making anything up. You know what? Give me one second. There he is. He's a big boy, as you guys can see. He does everything. He's he's also a guest in, in the uh, some of the episodes we do. He's a big boy. Yeah. Say hi to the crowd there. Okay, don't look up here. Oh, shit, wait a minute. He's like fucking 40 pounds. Hey, right, look, 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 look. There we go. Look, there we go. Yep, so everyone can see you now. All right, we're gonna take you home. Fuck, he's heavy. You guys know, that's why I said I don't make anything up. So I said my pussy, here he is. But he takes good care of me. So he gets a lot of high-end cat food. He doesn't get uh, friskies. Anyway, guys, I won't bug you. So it's just a bit of a fun video. You know, it's what it is. We still got this COVID garbage we're dealing with. Um, you guys stay safe from this COVID, too. I mean... I probably should not talk much about it because of YouTube and their rules, but you guys do what works best for you regarding this COVID and what you get in your, <clears throat> so, and that's all I'm going to say on that topic. You guys decide what's best for you. So anyway, so again, it's Ken Scott, senior U.S. immigration law intelligence analyst with 888-908-3841 or 604-332-9213, the Denied Entry to USA show. And in the words of my Vulcan colleague, live long and prosper. Why you should be denied entry to that country. So if you're denied entry to the United States for criminality, you know, maybe you know, had a bar fight, or maybe you were accused of, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> It's okay. You didn't do it. This is what you want to do. You may need a U.S. entry waiver. You may, or you may not. If you do, you want to use sendittoken.com. Sendittoken.com. And once you use sendittoken.com, we can get you clear to enter the United States. It does not matter what your conviction is, whether it's for <laughs> or. Nothing is matter. impossible! Why? Because we're there. You need us. Send it to Ken.com. I gotta tell you, folks, wait till Hulk Hogan comes out here. The rip is gonna come off the Bell Center here in Montreal. As the anticipation builds. 
You can feel it. That legendary Hulk Hogan is a heart.